Last week we went over to Boston in Lincolnshire to visit my hometown and see my family. Whilst there I decided to take a trip out to Freeston Shore. It lies about five miles east of the town and is the nearest point to get to the North Sea. When I was a lad, a mere 40 odd years ago, my pal Graham and I used to sometimes cycle here just for a change of scene. We used to hop over the creeks or paddle in them and sometimes we'd catch small fish or crabs. If we go back to its heyday in the mid 1800s to early 1900s, Freeston Shore was quite the local attraction. The sea came right up to the original Roman bank as it's called and two hotels, the Marine and the Plumbers, catered for holidaymakers and fishermen. They even held horse races on the beach four times a year. However, there began a period of time where coastal deposits changed the landscape and salt marshes took over the beach. The hotels were stranded inland and people wanting to sea bathe travelled further afield with the advent of trains and cars. The salt marshes remained until 1935 when an ambitious project took place by the government. The prison service marched a number of boys from Stafford, 110 miles away, to build a new Borstal camp by the shoreline. Initially they slept in tents, but before long they had built their accommodation, connecting roads and a farm. They were then set to work building a new sea wall using local earth. A small railway track was laid, and the boys, all aged between 17 and 21, filled tipper trucks and took them to the site. As soon as the sea was prevented from filling the lagoons, the land was eventually turned over to farmland and they grew all their own crops to be used within the prison service. Work continued for over 30 years on the wall and when it was finished in 1979, 970 acres had been reclaimed. In 2000, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds took over part of the land, breached the sea defences and using lock gates carefully controlled the land back to a wet marsh haven for wild birds. Hides were built and enthusiasts can now view wading birds including avocets and ringed plovers. In winter, brent geese congregate along with many kinds of ducks, tree sparrows, yellow hammers and skylarks and the occasional bird of prey. We just went to give the dog a run.